Good day, tubes. She is cold again. Although it's supposed to warm up on the weekend. So they're saying, <laughs> like minus four, if you call that warm, which I do. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're heading to the garage. Uh, nothing major, major, major happening today, but we got an issue here. And uh, I don't know what's going on here, but if you see the river and the bridge, usually there's about three foot of water or three foot of space below that bridge. I don't know what's going on here because this side's really high. If I can get in here. Whoa, you can see how close it is in the tunnels there. Not much space left there. I don't know what's going on. Something's blocked somewhere or frozen somewhere and it's not letting the water really get through the way it should be. Probably because it's been so cold. But over here, on this side, it's like normal. <laughs> so, well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like, you know, three feet lower than the other side. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully something in the road here hasn't collapsed and squished and stuff, because that's going to really suck. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. Let's go have a look up further there. So, uh, I don't know, maybe the tunnel's full of turkey or something. <laughs> I haven't seen the turkeys for a while, although something's, something's walked through here. I don't know what that would have been, maybe a turkey. But anyways, yeah, you can see here it's really bubbled up too, right? It even looks like it's broke through maybe even today. And it's wet on the top here. I don't really want to walk out on it. It's probably solid, I'm sure, but weird. Weird. But anyways, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I can almost see into that tunnel there. <laughs> T tempting fate here, boys. Uh, I don't know, I can't tell really what's going on there. Almost like there's a big hunk of ice blocking the thing or something, I don't know. We need to get a good thaw, I'll tell you that though. Holy cow. <laughs> Well, sorry I didn't put nothing up for you as yesterday. I was, I was hurting. <laughs> Back was hurting a little bit. Chiropractor did help, uh, but it's still pretty tender even today, so. But anyways, I was down doing a little bit of work. Uh, nothing too major. I started to work on my door here, uh, taking her apart and getting her out. And uh, basically, what they've done is put it together with uh, big lagged bolts of some sort going into the block, I guess. And uh, secured them with square nuts. <laughs> so that's telling you how old that is, because it's been quite a few years since they've had square nuts. Uh, but uh, there's three on each side. There's one, oops, sorry, hang on, one, Two, I can't see because it's so bright outside and it's so dark in here. Three, and then uh, there's one here, and then I got, uh, there's one in like here, <laughs> in behind my, my wood I put on, and then one down the bottom. So I was able to chisel a bit and get this out, and I had pried this off of here, but it's like right in behind. So I just put her back together for now. Um, oh, until I can get a fairly warmish day, I can just uh, hack this thing right out of here and uh, break everything off and hack it off, get the rest of these bolts out, and then it's going to have to come apart. Well, I'm not too sure exactly how they would have put her together because I guess they could have put the whole door frame in and then drilled through and then, I don't know, these are pretty solid, so 
I don't know exactly how they did it unless they... I don't know. I don't know, but it's probably not going to come out as nice as it maybe went in. So, uh, But I got everything pulled away here, as you can see, to uh, relieve... Oh, nice big hole there. Holy. Uh, to relieve all this, but uh, you can see I take my pry and bar here She's she's loose and ready to come off so Which is a good thing, but we're not quite ready for it yet because I don't want to really have a huge gaping hole here um, I Don't want to have a huge gaping hole here until I can make sure I get that other door back in so I was out yesterday and Got another door too. That's that's the beast and uh, it's going to have to be, of course, uh, well, this is a little bit of a weird setup because the way this is going to have to work, I could have maybe got it the other way where it would have swung in, but I kind of wanted to keep it the same. So this will basically fit right there, and it'll still open that way, right? Uh, and this will be the outside, and then, of course, the other side is the inside. But there's an issue. There is an issue. We're going to have to cut into our top plate here a hair bit about that far across because it's not going to fit exactly right because in the frame of the new door the door compared to this door is actually taller inside of that frame although the frame is the same height now this door is a bit shorter because if you notice the floor here and the floor there I don't know if you can see that in perspectively too much. The floor here and the floor there is about an inch and a bit higher between the two shops here. I didn't kind of sort of realize that now. If I just plunk the new door right into there, that new door is going to hit the concrete floor and won't open. So, yeah, that's not too sort of good. So, what we're going to have to do, I guess, is uh, cut into that top plate a little bit to raise the whole thing up a little bit and then make like another step in front I suppose it's kind of sort of sucks but that's the way it's gonna have to be and buddy asked me at the depot oh is that a load bearing wall you shouldn't do that if it's a load bearing wall I'm like ah it's not a load bearing wall because above here there's nothing on in top of it so I mean that's basically just separating the thing there's no weight on there at all so I mean, it's not like one of these beams is resting on, on this, you know. The next beam here is like back in here more, so I'm not really too concerned about it. So, oh, there goes a nut or a washer. So, you know, I don't have to cut the whole thing right out. I've only got to take uh, maybe a couple inches. Let's do a little measurement here. Uh, there's my tape. We'll measure from, uh, let's see here, the bottom of the door to the top of the frame. We'll say, uh, eight and one and a half. Give us a little extra for some shimming and uh, for some spray foam. So, 81 and a half. So, now let me think this thing is going to have to sit basically up where this piece of wood is here. So, that bottom plate of that door will fit onto something like that or we'll, you know, space it so it does, so the door opens. So basically what we got to do is go 81 and a half from this plate up into here. Now where does that take us? Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. oh. I don't want a half of it. <coughs> oh man, sorry. It's about right there, so I gotta take a fair chunk out of there. Well, roughly where I'm calculating, I'm gonna have to cut out about that much. That's a fair whack. Hopefully that's all right. I think it should be because, um, like, I don't know why, maybe it's uh, the way they design these buildings then, but for some reason they put wooden header things over everything here. Like there's one here, you know, there's a wooden header there. Where all the windows have these wooden header things. I guess that's maybe to nail the... I don't know why they would do that now. I guess they probably use a beam or something. Uh, wooden header, you know, wooden header <laughs> or everything like that, right? So, 
Uh, I don't know exactly what their planning was on that, but uh, yeah. So, it should be alright cutting that out. There should be still a fair whack left there. And uh, it's funny enough, above this, when I was doing the insulation, <clears throat> there's a piece of wood on the top. And then the next beam starts up this way, and then the other one's way out there, right? This piece of wood wasn't even really touching this piece of wood, so I don't know. I don't know why they've designed her like that, but I'm not taking 50% of her out there. I'm only taking maybe 30, 25, 30% of that, that piece out there. So I don't think that'll make a huge difference. Uh, kind of sucks that I got to do that, but uh, it's the way she's going to have to work, I guess. And she's pretty beefy, so there's probably... I have to watch the nails if I'm cutting with something. <laughs> there goes your blade. Screwed. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm going to cut her with yet. Um, I guess the best thing to figure out is get all this crap out of here first. The old crap and then figure that in after. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not looking too much forward to that. But uh, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put down on the bottom here. I could probably reuse this bottom piece here but I don't know I've got some wedges too you know like for for square and stuff up and level and stuff up and you know you gotta put wedges in so this is your wall you got to put wedges in to you know change where the door is gonna open and close and stuff right this gap here so you gotta wedge it and stuff and you know change the squareness of it and that's what these little guys do you wedge them between there and they're they're um, there's different ones in there, right? Like different thicknesses. So there's like a real thick one here, and then right down on this end's like a real thin one, you know. And then you get her where you want it, square level and plumb and all that stuff, and then um, screw her to your wall. That's going to be another fun thing too. I think I think I should have enough room that um, on each side, because we've only got oh crap, I have my tape with me. Hang on, let me grab the tape again. Here we'll do a sideways measurement. I got lots of room that way, which is good. Uh, that way I can maybe put in some kind of something and screw it to the wall and then screw the door to that. Uh, three, three and a half. Okay. 33 and a half, so I'm measuring from block here to block here. I've got, uh, ah, uh, about 35. Now, so I got, uh, 33 and a half to 35. So I got a fair bit of room to work there, which is good. I should be able to get a couple of half inch pieces in in there anyways uh, I'd really like to get it screwed into the block which I'll probably do but I kind of need something to screw you know a bit to right instead of just into the block and then you know a little bit extra but I'll be able to use some some tap cons I think uh, so you got to remember too these blocks they they dip in a bit and then come back out so you're gonna have to screw in a long way to uh, through that so I'm gonna need some pretty long screws if they make them that long but I might I don't know depending on spacing I might have to just use oh, I don't think I'd get a 2x4 in each side that would be nice but uh, it's gonna have to be something fairly wide too you know so we'll figure it out when we get to her though uh, I mean they make lumber in lots of different sizes so we uh, should be able to do it and I couldn't get a door <clears throat> that was uh, really meant for the block from the depot there which is a lot wider this one i got well let's get the tape again here this one i got here is only a skinny door right so and the, the reason was because of that was the height because i don't have the height because i've now i've already got to chop into that block if i got the the actual door that was you know this one's uh how wide is this one uh, four and a half so i think the other ones were like a lot bigger you know they would have been up to probably six this part of it here you know but then I uh, the other way it went higher too like this is an 80 the other ones were like an 84 so geez I would have had to go 
you know, like another <laughs> three inches more and I would have been cutting this thing into about here, pretty much remove that whole piece out of there. So I didn't really want to go that way. So this is the only way I could do her that was going to make her work, which kind of sucks because it's going to be a lot of fitting in more wood and stuff to, to get her to the right size, you know, so because these are, uh, well, pretty much the whole width here. That's probably an inch out. So we're going to have to probably get something that's uh, eight inch wide by, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I just don't know right now until I get her all tore out of there, but I do want to wait for a nicer day because I don't want to leave this huge hole here, you know, while it's really cold outside. So, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, had some thoughts too about this wall here. Um, whoa. Put this wall here and uh, trying to maybe insulate it a bit. I'm not going to do it right now, but um, what I was thinking was uh, studying it and then maybe getting a couple of those cans of the kits of the spray foam, <laughs> spraying that on. And it's apparently rated for a class one fire resistance. Now, I think it should be okay if I, you know, sprayed it in all around this stuff. This would have to probably go somewhere else in case you ever needed to you know, re-access that, but um, running up a stud here and then a stud up there, whatever. The only thing I gotta worry about is the exhaust here. It's not wicked hot, like I'm touching it there. But it, geez, it's already started to like, holy crap. This one may not last that long, so I don't really wanna coat it in there too badly. And <laughs> then I gotta replace this stupid thing again. Holy crap, they don't seem to last long for some weird reason, I don't know why, but kind of dumb but the only thing I could probably do is not maybe spray it in there and then just pack that with some like insulation itself and uh, that would kind of help that area a little bit it's the only thing I can think anyway so um, we were thinking of that or uh, this batting but I'm like I like the idea of spraying that stuff on you know it's gonna fill all these cracks and then out real nice right and then you won't have to worry about that because uh, this door I'm not gonna use it but we were thinking just spraying the wall and it's like well then what if it started to fall apart or something and it's you know the door whatever screwed up and stuff at least with the studs there it would have something to kind of hold it there right so that's sort of the thought of that but uh, that probably won't get done until you know you can have the doors open and ventilating and stuff because right now he he could do it but uh stuff that's pretty cold right that stuff's got to be a pretty constant good temperature so Ah, uh, should be filling on these little cracks and stuff here. I don't know why that screws there. It doesn't make any sense to me. There's definitely air leaking through there. I can feel that for sure. A little bit down here too. This should be all siliconed up, I suppose. Maybe before I put things back here, I was gonna put my shelf back today and uh, get things back in order there and then uh, kind of had an idea or two I've been wanting something for a little while to do is um, I don't know if one of these weed whackers here maybe not my stills but maybe the old McCullough I guess it could still run well that or this old scowl thing here seeing if it would maybe still kind of run and kick over and run or whatever and uh, tear it all apart right down to like the engine and just have like an engine that would run you know with well, you wouldn't have recoil all that. I don't know how you'd start it, but we'd figure something out. But that'd be neat just to have an engine you could hold in your hand that's running, you know, <laughs> like crazy, you know. I don't know what the heck I'd use it for, but uh, it's kind of a neat little neat little thing. Uh, still would be pretty good. These ones, uh, no, not that one. That's my uh, Formex. Holy cow, don't do that. These ones here, the old two-strokers, they're, uh, what happened to them? They, I know they both still run, so that's a good thing to know. These other ones, the McCullough, I don't know if it runs or not, why it was retired. These ones, I can't remember now why I retired them. And then I got into my Formix, love it. Absolutely love them things. Uh, geez, is there any fuel in this thing? Or did I dump it right out? Oh, yeah, I must have dumped it out because the cap's open. Wouldn't mind doing a grammy old cold start on it but i got no fuel in it right now so oh that 
That's weird. Hmm. Uh -oh. Hmm. Now, what's going on there? That's hot, right? Huh. Yeah. Wow. I'm not crazy on those caps. They're nice and quick and easy. You don't need like a tool. Sometimes they get the old ones got wedged in there so hard you had to get a screwdriver to turn them. But that that is nice. But sometimes they do screw up. Uh, yeah. But anyways, I don't know if we'll get to this today or not. But uh, you know, these guys here. I mean, all they're doing is sitting here. We might as well have some fun with them. See what we can do with them. You know, tear them apart. You know, see if they'll run. See what we can do with them there, and if you know from there on, we'll tear it right down like we have been so those, those other guys just for fun, and uh, you know harvest pistons out of them because uh, pistons are kind of cool and stuff. Not very often you see a little wee piston like that, and this is really cold. Let me tell you. So I'm gonna put my shelf back together here, get things reorganized, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, we'll. <clears throat> We'll uh, find our bench again so we got something to work on. Holy crap. Should probably run a silicone gun here first maybe though and seal up a little more around this door best I can. If I got a, I'm sure I got a container stuff here somewhere. Okay, I don't know how things are looking there. Might be full of spots or whatever, but uh, I do apologize if this man, I can't even see it so bright here. So we're just gonna smother on some of this stuff just to Try to help. Keeping a bit of the drafts out, anyways. Oh, it was going good. What the heck? Oh, crap! <laughs> crap! This is a used tube I'm using here, so it's. Uh, man, I suck at silicone, and I'm gonna admit that right now. <laughs> I never was good at this silicone and crap. Right, we'll just smear some on here and I think part of the problem is I can't see what I'm doing because it's so bright. Making more a mess than anything, that's for sure. There must be a trick to it, I don't know. I'm not doing right. I keep getting it like going past the nozzle in front of the nozzle and it makes a huge mess then. My gun might be hurting too here, but I got another one here, but I don't think it's much better. Let's do something down on these things too, down here. I don't know, I, I maybe I'm not doing it right, but I kind of feel like, you know, you should be able to do it, it looks good right off the hop right but I'm not uh, getting her so I don't know I don't know what I'm doing wrong now there was something I think sort of down here too I don't know if you guys are in the right spot oh it was all dark the whole time isn't that great because it's so bright out there yeah I'm gonna throw some in this lock and stuff here too stupid gun Well, at least nobody's going to be able to get in here with all this crap squirted everywhere. Oh, I guess maybe another shot down here wouldn't hurt. It's not really doing much. It's already got stuff in it anyway. So. See what I mean? Like I'm getting it all past and gooing up and gumming up on the thing. I don't know. I just haven't done enough of it, I guess. I'm just trying to feel where stuff is coming in, you know. Man, I wish I could get a better shot for you there. It's just the way she's working. You can kind of feel where the cold's coming through, you know. Oh, I suck at silicone and holy crap. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways.
everybody's good at something and some people aren't good at nothing and uh, that's pretty much me. I'm not good at really much of anything like this anyways. Oh. I just slap her on and go nuts. I know people smother it down with their finger too. I just don't really want to get all covered in curl break. something around here too. It's been done a few times before so I'm trying to mush stuff back together. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> oh. Anyways, if you can stop every little draft, it sure does help. That's why I'm saying the spray foam would be awesome for this because you can and uh, you know fill it right in. What a horrible job! I know, I know, it's awful. This stuff's all gone crappy and loose here, so that's probably part of the leaking problem too. Smothered, smothered. This is all like just sitting here too, but see your spray foam would fill all that in too, right? All this loosey mortary stuff here. So I can throw some of this open in here. I'm almost out of stuff here too, so let's go as far as we can. That is about it. <laughs> We're done. So yeah, this thing is uh, not supposed to do that unless you push push the little guy here and it's supposed to release it but it's releasing on its own so it's, I don't know what's going on the, the bars wore out here or something this is just like a three dollar freaking silicone gun so you know, it's probably junk and another one here too and I don't know if it's the same same deal or what oh it doesn't want to go back in oh it's had a bit of leakage on this one yeah that one's I think it's holding better. Yeah, that's a better one. So I'm gonna throw this other one out. Stupid thing! Okay, I should have been using that one the whole time. <laughs> oh well. It's all right. Now I can't get it open there. So that'll hopefully help, I don't know, a little bit. It still feels awful cold out here, but I really think spray foaming will really help. Maybe I'll see if I got a little more silicone here and put some more down the bottom of the door. Well, I had another tube of stuff there, so I threw some clear on, and I uh, uh, thought it might have st st just starting to skin up. It's still kind of chunky. I did that little hole there, you know, and around here and stuff. And we went to have some lunch, and I thought, why am I siliconing this? Where, yeah, silicone works good, but, you know, you can see in here, I probably missed a spot way back, and it's leaking air through there, and other little spots that I did find. Okay, so sorry, I kind of lost track of my thing there. Uh, my wife came in, she wanted some piece of wood drilled for one of her craft projects. So anyway, so uh, yeah, we uh, <clears throat> threw another tube of caulking on here. I had uh, some come clear, and yeah, it hasn't quite set up yet. Then we went for lunch, and I thought, oh, wait a minute, what the frick am I doing? Putting lots of silicone on here, getting lots of air leaks everywhere still. In here, especially around here, it's all horrible. Like, I got an idea. So, we went to Home Depot for five minutes. And I got one of the smallest spray foam kits they had there. It's not very much though, it's only uh, 15, dries quickly, 1.2 cubic feet up to 15 board feet. So I don't even know if it's going to be enough for doing this door, but I don't necessarily want to do, do not open. Open carton by removing the perforated access panel on back. Perforated. Oh, access panel. Okay. Open here. Cold weather reminder. That's why they want you to open it there. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this today, though. Uh, because I want to let that silicone harden up a little bit. Oh. Oh. 
But we'll have a look at her here. I, I don't know why they want you to open the other way, because now it looks like it's going to be a freaking nuisance. But anyways, uh, how the heck, it comes with a pair of medical gloves. Kind of cool. Got my own, but anyways, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Um, how the heck do you get this out of here? Like, I can't get anything out now, because they got me to open up a weird way. Freaking knobs. I just gonna open her up the way I was gonna open her up. I don't think it's gonna really matter. Ah. Okay, so this end up. Oh, looks like we're gonna have some surgery or something here. Holy, this is scary. Wow. Okay. Okay. Pull strap when chemicals are in gate. What? Pull strap. What? Pull strap. Pull strap should align when chemicals are engaged. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that out of there. <laughs> Valve lock. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got to pull this Dewey out there. Remove this first, so that actually will let the things go down and the hose up, and uh, then you do your. It's just kind of a. Oh, I hope this is going to work. The the, the the bigger kit has like a spray nozzly thing where it does like a fan. Or this looks like it's just going to go. Well, that's kind of chintzy too how they do that. It works, I guess, but you just open that, and that opens it up, and then lets the things go through. <laughs> well, I'm going to read the cans, of course, and I don't think there was anything else in here. Another, another spare nozzle, which is good. So there's your mixing chamber, I guess, in there, and then it goes through the, the dewey there. Mix, 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 all the way through. By the time it gets out there, it's mixed lots. If you look, there's a lot of little chambers and screens. kind of hard to see it, but I know. Anyways. So we'll keep that and that. I'll probably wear my own gloves, mask, of course. And uh, we'll do this tomorrow, though, because, like I say, I want to let this stuff skin up a little bit overnight here. And uh, what I'm probably just going to do is... And that's probably all it's going to do anyways. And that'll fill in all the stuff and stuff. Hopefully it's going to work, though, because this looks like it's more like a shooting in a hole kind of gun. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a spray kind of gun. You know, like a wide fan spray, but uh, let me do some reading on these things here, and uh, we'll see uh, what it what it says. Well, <laughs> funny enough, unless it's missing or someone maybe opened it and didn't put it back in, I guess there's supposed to be some kind of instructiony kind of sheet, but uh, there's nothing. So even on the cans, it's just telling you know don't incinerate the can, don't you know puncture it, don't you know all that cool stuff. There's no real instructions, so it's got me kind of concerned because just. By looking at the way Buddy's doing it here, he's filling in like a like a dewy around his thing, right? Idea for sealing gaps and cracks and holes. Well, I don't know. I'm going to give her a shot, I guess, today. Uh, I kind of try to let this stuff sit a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be uh, any better or not. Maybe the surface is even a bit too cold. Oh, that's still pretty gummy. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Even air is coming in through there. The air in there, uh, oh man, I don't know what to say, whether to wait. See, when you do the studding, what you're supposed to do is you don't put it right up against the wall, you actually leave it out a little bit from the wall. So say uh, two by four, two by four, two by four. What can we use as a two by four? See, this is your two by four, okay? So you're actually supposed to leave it out from the wall like an inch, they say like that. And what that does is when you spray, that stuff will come in this side and this side and fill in behind too, right? If you put it right down, you could, well, you probably wouldn't get a leak, but that's what they recommended anyways. So, uh, I don't know if I want to do this right now or not. Uh, I'd like to do it and let it sit overnight and then it might dry and harden overnight. But uh, the thing is, I can't really ventilate in here too much. That's kind of skinned up there a little bit. I can't really ventilate too much with everything all closed up here, so that's going to kind of suck for, uh, you know, ventilation stuff. <laughs> Whereas, you know, the middle of summer I could open up the Deweys here and 
the big door and then have lots of air flowing through and blow everything out, but... Mm, mm. <sighs> yeah, I probably shouldn't spray it over this crud either. It's, it's just barely skinned up. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll... Uh, mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it for now. <sighs> I really wanted to try that kit out today, but I guess that's not going to happen. So, anyways, we'll maybe leave her for today, and then tomorrow we'll uh, maybe see if it's any better, or... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say, because once you start spraying with this stuff, and they give you the spare nozzle, you pretty much got to use it. Or... Uh, you'll be screwed. So that's the only downfall of this. Um, you can't really clean this stuff too well now. Because mm. you can't even like <clears throat> put it in like a vacuum sealed bag because as soon as these chemicals mix together it starts to work. It gets heated, heats up I think a little bit. Does it get hot? It might get hot to, with the reaction, right? But even enclosed in here you think, oh it's not going to harden up. I'll just cover up the tip here. Oh well, yeah, as soon as that stuff mixes all through here, gets to the end, it's going to be screwed. So. Hence why they give you the spare nozzle, which um, I'm not really too sure how you change that. Oh, we just twist it. Mm hmm. Well, I got a spare nozzle. Maybe we'll give her a shot here just to see how things work. I got to put my mask on and gloves on and stuff and uh, yeah well, why don't we just give her a little shot maybe we'll do it around the lock or something and maybe along the bottom of the concrete or something okay that light coming through that window is kind of screwing things up a little bit here but uh, maybe we'll see if we can go down the floor a little more here and uh, uh, somewhere about there uh, ah, should have put something over that I guess oh well that's about the best I can get you right there. So we gotta get our mask on yet. And uh give the stuff a little bit of a mix. And uh we're gonna shoot this and then evacuate out, I suppose. Safety glasses here too. Okay, here we go. Safety glasses on too. Let's give them a little bit of a shake, and then we'll pull this uh, rip cord thing here, and uh, I think that's, well, I must be missing something here, hang on. And yeah, look at that. Nice. Wow, what a piece of crap. I'm not liking this too much, boys. I'm getting all over myself. Oh, that's just lovely. Much. <laughs> oh, leaking all over the bloody place. What a freaking nightmare. Oh boy. These things don't hardly fit on very well.
got to push on them or they don't work. I know you probably can't see up here, I apologize. Looking quite a mess anyways, it's expanding pretty good. I'll uh, see if I can get you a little bit higher. Yeah, I'm not crazy on this, I don't know. Huh. Whatever. gone anyway. It does expand pretty good though. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, let's get rid of this mess. Holy frig. Uh, what a mess. How do you get these off now? Really? Okay. Yeah, I didn't I did enjoy that at all. Yeah, it really sucked. Although it's done. But what a freaking nightmare. Oh man, I gotta get out of here. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll just give you a quick look here. It's expanded pretty good around here and stuff. Not the nicest thing to do, but uh, yeah, here, I don't know, something was going on here. It's not mixing right or something. It's hardening up quick though. That's good. I'll let her sit overnight. We might have to trim a bit tomorrow because, you know, it expands more than you think too, right? So, But I think that should probably help a little bit feeling any air movement there now so that's good okay gotta get out of here yeah no instructions in that book i think what i was supposed to do is hold those cans upside down and pull on that tab and that opens up your two deweys but the tab ripped off so i'm like well, that's no good <laughs> oh geez so yeah that's not a super great kit it's not too bad i guess but uh no instructions so like how the frick are you supposed to know i've never done it before so i had to kind of finger it all out and you know it worked yeah it did but not exactly the way they had planned me to use it, I suppose, but, ah oh well, what can you do? So, uh, what's going on at the river here now? Anything more? Doesn't look like it. It's just up really high. Hmm, I don't know what to say about the river. Something's weird. But anyways, uh, we'll check on that foam tomorrow. That stuff is pretty good. I wish it was kind of, whoa, kind of more of a, uh, fan spray instead of just shooting straight out spray that wasn't sort of too good it's more for filling a gap I guess but anyways that's the way she works <laughs> so I guess we'll head her inside open up our one of our big kinders we got two more left I got three of them and I got them and we'll see what we get today and tomorrow I don't know yet <laughs> what we're what we're doing I guess we'll uh, check our foam there and see how it's holding up might have to shave the odd little bit here clean it up a little bit because it kind of went on like you know but funny enough there wasn't really that much noticeable smell that I could smell but it's probably the ones you can't smell that are the ones that are bad for you but anyways let's head her and open to kinder well we still got a hard drive for our backdrop here but anyways there's the next big feller Big feller. Oh, it just broke right open. Oh, that just sounds like something we don't have to put together. Oh, it's another minion. Is this all minion stuff or something? Maybe I'm missing something here. I didn't say anything on the package about minion, but there is, I guess that way, minion paintbrush guy. Oh, he's got a little brush. Oh, it's actually paint, I see. You're supposed to wet these, I guess, and then, uh, you know, put his little doo -doo 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 in there and then paint stuff. Oh, that's cool. 
if that's what that is, I presume that's, yeah, this must be a little paint valley there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, what's going on here with these things? That's two for three minions. It doesn't say anything on here about that stuff on there, so. This is larger surprise. I don't know, but, uh, oh well, that's it. So anyways, yeah, we'll check out our um, foam tomorrow. We might have to trim a bit, like I say, you know, and uh, what have you. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching today, and we shall catch you tomorrow.